Representatives from the development talked to the Planning Commission about why the project would be a plus for the area, but declined to comment afterwards. That township supervisor's meeting is scheduled for May 11th. Things look to be getting back to normal for students in our area. Beginning today, middle school and high school students in the Erie School District are slowly returning back to their classrooms. Fontaine Glenn joins us live outside from Strong Vincent Middle School with more on this. Good morning, Fontaine. Good morning, Jocelyn. It's kind of like the first day of school for the 6th and 9th graders in the Erie School District, including the 6th graders here heading to Strong Vincent Middle School off of West A Street. And I spoke to the principal of Strong Vincent about the preparation the school has taken to get those students back in the school, plus a 6th grade teacher, about her excitement to have students finally back in her classroom. Months of virtual learning is slowly coming to an end for students in the Erie School District. I am thrilled that our kids are coming back. We have missed them tremendously. The students are returning to the classroom starting today, but for the sixth graders, it's the first time they'll be stepping foot into their new school. Changes had to be made before the students could even step foot in the classroom. We have our desks spaced appropriately. Our kids know that they have to wear masks. We have hand sanitizer. We have signs posted. We will continuously review expectations and procedures with them. Principal Gloy Stein says about half of her students are returning to in-person learning, but the other half have opted to stay virtual. Our teachers will generally have three live classes in front of them and then we'll rotate to two remote classes because even though we're thrilled and excited to welcome our in-person students back, we're equally as eager to keep our at-home learners engaged through the next nine weeks. For teachers like Gina Sandberg, they will have to adjust back to teaching in person. I guess I have to break some old habits of walking around. I'm used to putting stickers on papers and touching people's things and giving a pat on the back and we have to stop doing that at least for now. So I'm going to try to keep my hands in my pockets and back up and do the best I can to. And like I said today, 6th and 9th graders are heading back to the classroom tomorrow. 6th, 7th, 9th, and 10th graders will be back in the classroom. And then on Friday, 6th through 12th will all be back in the classroom that have opted to go back in person. Jocelyn? Thanks, Fontaine.